Oh, hey. Did you know that there is a Lincoln at the Lincoln Memorial dedication? Hi, my name is Ranger John, and I'm a park ranger at the National Wall Memorial Parks. And for the month of May, we are celebrating the Lincoln Dedication Centennial, which happened on May 30th, 1922. To answer that question, yes, there was a Lincoln at the Lincoln Memorial Dedication. Not Abraham Lincoln, but his son, Robert. Born on August 1st, 1843, in Springfield, Illinois, Robert Todd Lincoln led an accomplished life. He attended and graduated from Harvard and Northwestern Universities. He also served in the Civil War and saw Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrender at Appomattox Courthouse. Later, Robert was a lawyer, ambassador to Great Britain, Secretary of War with President Garfield and President Arthur, and was president of the Pullman Palace Car Company, among other things. He can also be described as a protector of Abraham Lincoln's legacy. Robert collected virtually everything of Abraham Lincoln's works, correspondence, and writings, ranging from his Illinois circuit riding days through his momentous years as 16th President of the United States. Lincoln secretaries John Hay and John Nicolay really being the only ones granted full access while Robert was alive. Robert also dealt with a unique situation in Springfield, Illinois. After attempts to steal President Lincoln's remains, along with his coffin being relocated at least 17 times, Robert and the Lincoln Guard of Honor decided to secure his father's final resting place by encasing the coffin in a 10-foot deep concrete vault below the burial chamber in Lincoln's tomb at Oak Ridge Cemetery. Robert was 78 years old when the Lincoln Memorial was dedicated. Robert did not speak at the dedication ceremony himself, but he was clearly deeply moved by the work itself. Before the ceremony, Robert had written to a friend saying the memorial was magnificent. It surpasses anything that has ever been erected of the kind. We have visitors from all across the country and world to walk up these steps. To look at the statue of President Abraham Lincoln, and read his inspiring words on the walls. Robert viewed this memorial differently. As told by a colleague of his, I well remember your remark that you did not remember Abraham Lincoln as President of the United States, but as your father.